Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft again. And as you can see on my screen, I have the Behringer Wasp. Yes, it finally came. Uh, that is just a picture of it, but I am going to be doing an unboxing video and uh, we're going to be checking it out. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, like I had mentioned in the Behringer Cat video that I had originally played a wasp way back, I think it was in. I don't know, 1999 or 2000. I don't know, I forget. But it was at a synth museum, and I, I briefly mentioned about that. Um, and this is uh this is a very, this synthesizer is kind of unique to me, and it's it's almost like a special place in my heart. <laughs> Only because the one that I tried at the synth museum was a real wasp, um, with the um. It was like a metal keyboard, uh, and I fell in love with the sound. I sampled the hell out of it. Um, I don't know what I did with those samples. That was a long time ago. Um, but I got to tell you, I really liked that synth. It was dirty. It was nasty. It was unpredictable. Um, and it was just, it haunted me. And you could never find one. And if you did, it was very expensive. So they were rare, and they were very expensive. So without further ado... Let's get right to it, shall we? All right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, another unboxing video. If you saw my last video, I talked about having purchased the... Um, the uh, Behringer Cat, and I said I was going to be getting a hold of the Behringer Wasp. Well, it did come. It came yesterday. So we're going to unbox this puppy, and then we're going to do a demo. And I can't wait, actually, because, like I said in my last video, I did play an original Wasp. Back in the early, it was either late 90s or 2000s. And, oh yeah. Woo! We got some more candy from uh, Sweetwater here, which is pretty cool, right? All righty. And let's see. Oh, I hit my lamp. Oh, you don't want to do that. And here it is. Put this over here. And I'm making a mess as usual. Yes. All right, there it is. The Behringer Wasp. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's go ahead and open this up. And before I do that, um, I just want to show you here. It says, it says right here, it says, legendary analog synthesized with dual OC, OSCs uh, VCF, I can't read, multi-mode VCF, 16 voice polychain in Eurorack format. Now, the thing about the 16 voice polychain is the fact that we can actually put two of these together and get 16 voices out of it, which I thought was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, here it is. I'll put this over here. And let me just get it over here and then we're gonna open it up. And yeah, so um, basically, uh, we have, oh, we have a Behringer sticker in this one. I didn't get that in the other one. Quick start guide. We got the power supply. So the North American power supply or United States power supply, which is great. And yeah, so let's get this guy out. Oh, and it came with a ribbon cable. Now, the... Cat didn't come with a ribbon cable, which I thought was weird, um, because it is Euro wet rack. Um, so I thought it was kind of strange that it didn't come with a ribbon cable, but there it is. It did come with one, so that's kind of nice, right? Um, if you want to put it in a Euro rack, and here we go with me cutting things open. <laughs> I'm horrible at this, as we all know. 
in most of my videos I talk about how horrible I am about this but and uh, I don't want to drop this or damage anything and I am really bad my knife is probably dull too so that's probably probably doesn't help and uh, oh my god this is horrible um what the heck? Let me see. There we go. Oh, look at that yellow color, huh? Now, I know the yellow on the wa the original wasp was a little bit brighter yellow than this. It was almost like a fluorescent yellow. Um, but yeah, there it is. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. And the knobs feel great on this. They really do. Oh, and there is a little click there. Very cool. Um, but yeah, uh, everything feels good. This is solid. Wow. Very impressed. Um, and we have the tune over here. And it's, it's just, you know, if you've seen many videos of this, um, you know, we've got our, uh, our foot over here, which is basically, you know, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2. Uh, and some of the guys on YouTube describe that as, uh, how long the pipes were on 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 uh, on um, old school uh, church organs, which I thought was interesting. So, um, and you know, so we have a mix of our oscillators, uh, oscillator two. We have the filter here, um, and then we have, uh, which is really interesting. It's called the control oscillator, which this I guess is the LFO, uh, which I thought was interesting. And then we have our envelope generators. Um, it's just a really strange little synthesizer. We've got USB on the top, MIDI in, MIDI through. We have uh, oscillator one out, oscillator two out, and then we have an, ex uh, an external in audio right here. And then we have main out, power light. Um, and then on the back, as you can see, we've got dip switches for, uh, for our um, uh, MIDI channel. I can't think right now. Our power button, uh, there's our uh, power in for DC in, and then we have uh, output, main output, low and high. So it's got some weight to it. It's got a, it's a great build. I love the wood sides. Um, so yeah, it's definitely nice. I'm just gonna tweak the knobs a little bit more. They are very solid. I mean, I have to hand it to Behringer. You know, some of the stuff that Behringer makes is definitely kind of What's the word? Um, I don't want to say cheap, but it doesn't feel solid. Uh, I know the MS-1 that I have, um, very plasticky, very, but it's a great synthesizer. It sounds amazing, uh, easy to use. Um, but yeah, so I mean, these little modules, though, I've been finding out are very solid. Uh, I really like the cat. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to put this with the cat and, uh, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna go from there and, and uh, do a demo and yeah. So uh, let's get to it.
There it is, the Behringer Wasp. Amazing. After I added some effects to it and stuff, I was blown away by it. I can't even believe how cool this thing really is. Um, I, it really, it's it's distorted, it's nasty, but yet it can be very calming. Uh, it can reach the highs, it can reach the lows. The bass on it is extremely low. Um. One thing I have to say, I did have an issue. Um, one of my knobs uh, is kind of messed up, um, which was uh, this guy right here. Um, so I'm going to have to either fix it. I'm, I don't want to send it back because it's working fine, but if I have to, I will. Uh, I know Sweetwater's good about that stuff. But yeah, the knob broke. Um, it still functions, but on the inside, it's definitely a D pole knob. So I could probably get it replaced with something else, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might send it back and say, tell uh, my guy at Sweetwater to actually give me, uh, send me another one. Uh, it's just a knob. I can probably fix it or get a different one to replace it. I was actually thinking about replacing the wave, uh, selector knob anyway, on both of them, the uh, the first oscillator and the second oscillator. So, yeah. Anyway, I love this little synth. Um, I'm going to do a demo pairing both the cat and the, uh, the wasp together. And I'm also going to do some stuff showing how the wasp can receive um, external audio. So, yeah. Very cool synth. 149 bucks on Sweetwater. I know Toman uh, is selling it for one thirty nine, but then if you live in America, um, you're looking at you know shipping and taxes and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, unbelievable, Behringer, you did it again, once again. I don't care what anybody says, Behringer makes cool stuff. So remember what I say always: stay frosty. Oh, oh I have one more thing. So tonight. Uh, I don't know if we're doing it live or whatever, but I will be doing a uh, a live, uh, I think it's live, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm, I'm pairing up with uh, the Synth Samurai. Um, I like his stuff, I like him, I think he's cool, um, he shoots from the hip, and I love that. So yeah, so stay tuned for that, that's going to be tonight, um, and um, yeah, Synth Samurai and Echo Craft, fight, fight, because we're both martial artists. Him more so than me. 
But anyway, anyway, so yeah, so check it out. Buy the Behringer Wasp. It's cheap. Good stuff, cheap. Stay frosty. Stay creative. Peace.